the Critical Thinking video series from Procon.org. Electronic voting machines. Do they improve the voting process? Electronic voting machines allow people to cast their votes using touchscreens, buttons or dials. After the 2000 election between George W. Bush and Al Gore, in which hanging chads on paper punch cards put many people's votes in doubt, electronic voting machines replaced many of the older paper-based voting systems. In the 2012 US presidential election, 39% of voters could access electronic voting machines to cast their votes. But are these machines accurate, reliable and trustworthy? Or do they create more uncertainty and risk? Paul de Gregorio, former chairman of the US Election Assistance Commission, says paper ballots are keeping us in the Stone Age. We pay bills on our phones, withdraw money from ATMs, and even undergo computer-assisted surgery. So why not trust our votes to electronic voting machines? The Information Technology and Innovation Foundation states that a hand-marked ballot can be difficult to interpret, causing it to be discarded and the vote lost forever. With electronic voting machines, the voter's choice is unmistakable. The Voting Technology Project at Caltech and MIT agrees, finding that the rate of lost votes was halved between 2000 and 2006. Electronic voting machines make it easier for people to vote in other languages too, and have made it possible for blind voters to vote without assistance for the first time. However, in 2004, voting machines in Santa Clara County, California, instructed blind voters to press the yellow button. As a blind voter said at the time, yellow means nothing to me. Electronic voting machines are also vulnerable to hackers. Researchers at Princeton University found that the machines could be hacked to steal votes in as little as one minute, and hackers at Argonne National Laboratory hacked the most popular model of voting machine with $10 worth of gear from Radio Shack. As the state of Maryland found out in 2004, tens of thousands of these machines can be opened with the same key used to open minibars and jukeboxes. The machines sometimes malfunction too. A Pennsylvania voter recorded video of a machine refusing to let him vote for Barack Obama. ATMs produce a paper receipt for verification, but in precincts which used electronic voting machines exclusively in 2012, 76% of them provided no auditable record. With no audit trail, it's impossible to perform an independent recount. So, do electronic voting machines improve the voting process? Do they create more uncertainty and risk? What do you think? Procon.org shows you topics from every angle, so you can think critically about the issues and make informed decisions about where you stand. www.procon.org Promoting critical thinking, education and informed citizenship. Made with generous support from the Herb Block Foundation.